Why is it you're hearing my voice? Because, of course, it's time for the Disc M Brain of 702. Ordinarily, we would have been doing this at a shopping center somewhere around Gauteng. We've been to places like Eastgate, we've been to Santin City, the Mall of Africa, everywhere. But of course, in the times that we are living in, we're doing it right here in our studios. If you want to be a part of the action, you can join us. We are live streaming this on Facebook as we speak. And so there I am waving at you if you're watching it on Facebook. If you're driving in your car, it's absolutely riveting. We've heard the turn of the junior brains and now it's time for the adults for the ultimate showdown. And as I've told all the little kids, just breathe in, stay calm and keep it going. Move it along if you don't know the answer. Don't get stuck trying to figure out a question that you perhaps may not readily uh, be able to know. We're asking our best and brightest brains to go for a chance to win 10 thousand rand and of course they'll get to play with us again on the final saturday of february and that's of course going to be next weekend uh, for your chance to still be a part of the action you can register at 702.co.za play that online general knowledge game and you could be a winner everybody knows the rules 90 seconds to answer 25 questions and of course the contestant with the most correct answers will be our winner if the scores are equal, we will play Sudden Death. Our first contestant is Monday's reigning brain, Tabiso Kumalo, 24 years old from Katlehong in Ekuruleni. He works as a business license administrator for the city, has been listening to 702 for over seven years now, and this is his second year entering the Diskem brain of 702. He wants to have fun and maybe a chance to win as well. He loves reading, searching for new music and listening to podcasts. Cooking is a passion for him. One day, um, well, rather, cooking is a passion for him as well as restaurant hopping with friends during his free time. Tabiso, how are you feeling? A bit nervous. You're a cha. bit nervous? That's good. The nerves are good, right? The nerves mean you are not too confident. You are not going to be arrogant mm -hmm. your favorite thing to cook mexican food mexican mm, food okay. yeah mm, spicy i think one Arriba. day <laughs> <laughs> one day i think you know we'll find our way to ekuruleni <laughs> and hopefully just look for mexican food yes somewhere. let's do that over to you chabiso ah don't look at me like that i'm fanboying <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a quiz mama now. I'm a quiz queen. You can't fanboy. You're going to throw yourself <laughs> off. Okay, cool. Tabiso, are you ready? I'm ready. Chris, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word probably. P-R-O-B-A-B-L-Y. Correct. Complete the saying, your family is your flesh and what? Blood. Correct. From which movie series is the character Han Solo? Um... Star Wars. Correct. True or false? A cul-de-sac is a dead-end street. True. Correct. In which sport is Os Durant a coach? Rugby. Correct. Sub is short for which underwater form of transport? Submarine. Correct. In which province is the town Somerset East? Western Cape. Incorrect. The abbreviation CFO stands for Chief What Officer? Financial Officer. Correct. Is N'Djamena or Praia the capital of Chad? Jamena. Correct. True or false? In social life, gate crashes are guests with invitations. False. Correct. Which Southern African country's flag displays a soapstone bird? Pass. Which of the five senses do you associate with the cochlea? The nose. Incorrect. Which city is further east, Tokyo or Auckland? Auckland. Correct. Which U.S. state once belonged to Spain, Florida or New York? Florida. Correct. Which is one of the noble gases, helium or fluorine? Helium. Correct. To which political party does Glenis Breitenbach belong? Pass. True or false, blood that is low in oxygen is bright red? True. Incorrect. What sport does Kermit Erasmus play? Soccer, football. Correct. From which language is the term finesse? What would your answer have been? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say oui, oui, Francais. Uh, All right, that sounded like a solid round. You had quite a good start there. Thank mm, you. Mm, mm. Do you want to go first or? 
No, I will tell you the answers you were looking for. Mm. The eyelashes were not too much of a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to see Rebukhira Mawacha if you're watching on Facebook. She's got the most gorgeous makeup on today, just for us this morning. Absolutely lovely. But you want the correct answers, yes. do you not? Enough about your makeup. Uh, blood that is low in oxygen is not blood red, not bright red rather, it's dark red. That's the answer we were looking for, so that was false. Dennis Breitenbach belongs to the Democratic Alliance. The cochlea is associated with hearing, sound or the ears, that's the sense. The soapstone bird you'll find on the Zimbabwean flag. Somerset East is in the Eastern Cape. Those were the correct answers uh, you were looking for. Tabiso, you got a solid 13 points. So congratulations. You have actually set the benchmark for what the others need to match or beat. And of course, we've got to explain the drama that's unfolding in the studio. Uh, the contestants come in to play. Uh, Tabiso, of course, uh, being the one that is now sitting at the top, he is the one to beat. But our next contestant has just walked in. Skumbuzo is 40 years old, lives in Bromfisher, but spends 80% of the year in Bromfontein and Parktown. Is currently a fourth year BA student at Wits University's Parktown Education Campus. His interest in politics and current affairs made him listen to 702. He enjoys trivia about history, politics, geography, and current events. He describes himself as a bit of an introvert, but does enjoy socializing with other people when the opportunity arises. Kumbuzo, you enjoy trivia and current affairs. What was the Rand Dollar Exchange on the 6th of June 2006 at 6 minutes after 6 <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it can be 10. <laughs> no, we won't ask you anything that ridiculous. Okay. Good luck to you. Stay right. calm. Breathe in. Breathe out. You'll do just fine. Over to you, Mama. Skumbuzo, I heard that deep breath. Are you ready? Chris, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word question. Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N. Correct. Complete the saying, a thing of beauty is a what forever. Pass. From which movie series is the character Ellen Ripley? Pass. True or false, a rendezvous is an unplanned party. True. Incorrect. In which sport is the former international player Lance Klusner a coach? Cycling. Incorrect. Maths is the short word for which school subject? Mathematics. Correct. In which South African province is the city Krugersdorp? Gauteng. Correct. The abbreviation R&D stands for what and development? Research. Correct. Is Freetown or Brazzaville the capital of Sierra Leone? Freetown. Correct. True or false? In literature, the term novel means old. True. Incorrect. Which southern African country's flag displays a machete? Swatini. Incorrect. Which of the five senses normal function is described as 2020? Eyes. Correct. Sight. Which city is further east, Washington, D.C. or Atlanta? Atlanta. Incorrect. Which U.S. state once belonged to Mexico, Iowa or Texas? Texas. Correct. Which is one of the noble gases, chlorine or neon? Neon. Correct. To which of South Africa's political parties does Mzamo Butelezi belong? IFP. Correct. True or false, your smallest blood vessels are called veins? True. Incorrect. What sport does Louis Oosthuizen play? Did you know that one? No. <laughs> ah, it was golf, but you wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Bongani, do your thing. Yes, indeed. Uh, Louis Oosthuizen does play golf. So we're looking for capillaries. Those are the smallest blood vessels, not called veins. And then, of course, Washington, D.C. is further east, uh, this compared to Atlanta. Uh, 2020, you got that one right. But uh, the southern African country whose flag displays a machete is Angola. And uh, in literature, the term uh, novel does not mean old, so that was false. Uh, cricket is where Lance Klusner, a former player, is an international coach. Uh, a rendezvous is not quite an unplanned party, but rather a pre-arranged meeting. Alien is the movie series in which you'll find Ellen Ripley, played of course so ably by Sigourney Weaver. How frightening that is, right? A thing of beauty is like Rebuchile, a joy forever. <laughs> All right. Those are the questions. Skumbuzo, <laughs> how do you think you did? Well, fairly slightly, not. 
okay. I couldn't match the arrow. <laughs> yes. Well, you did get nine points. So unfortunately, you haven't beat our benchmark as of yet. Hardy. Okay. Well, of course, that means then that the score to beat at this time is still the score that uh, Tabiso Kumalo got, which was 13. So 13 or better is what must be done to become the winner for today. Our next contestant is Angel. Angel is 22 and uh, is from Leopard's Rest in Albertsdal. Currently a student volunteering at the Witt School of Public Health. Uh, loves listening to 702, is addicted to it ever since he started listening to the station. Fascinated by odd historical life cases and crimes. That's very, very interesting. You watch the Crime Channel, no doubt. Her hobbies include singing, acting and presenting. Uh, basically, a young Rilebukhile <laughs> Mabota. In a sense, them. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous. You're a okay. bit nervous, right? Yeah. The nerves are good. <laughs> yeah. The nerves embrace the nerves, all right? Yeah. As I say, try and get through it as quickly as you can. If you stumble, don't let that freak you out. Okay. You can do it. Okay. You got this. Yeah. All right, Rebukhile, over to you. Angel, are you ready? I'm ready. Chris, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word religion. R-E-G-I-O-N. Incorrect. Complete the saying, he got up on the wrong side of the what? The bed. Correct. From which movie series is the character Marty McFly? Pass. True or false, a tourniquet is a tight band to stop bleeding? True. Correct. In which sport is, is Bito Musimane a coach? Sundowns. Sports Incorrect. Soccer. Ref is a short word for which sports official? Pass. In which province is Somerset West? Pass. The abbreviation EEA stands for what Equity Act? I forgot, pass. Is Lagos or Mogadishu the capital of Somalia? Mogadishu. Correct. True or false, in geography, a confluence is the joining of streams. True. Correct. Which Southern African country's flag displays a rifle? Afghanistan. Incorrect. Which of the five senses do you associate with the conjunctiva? Mouth. Incorrect. Which city is further north, London or New York? New York. Incorrect. Which U.S. state once belonged to Russia, Washington or Alaska? Alaska. Correct. Which is one of the noble gases, methane or argon? Argon. Correct. To which political party does Cornet Mulder belong? Pass. True or false, your stomach contains hydrochloric acid? Pa true. Hmm. Judges, are we going to give that last one that she passed? Okay, we're going to give that last one. Bogani, let's hear what the correct answers were. All right. Corne uh, Mulder belongs to the Freedom Front Plus. Uh, London is further north compared to New York. And we're looking for sight or the eyes when it comes to conjunctiva. Mozambique is the southern African country that has a rifle in its flag. EEA, you're really going to kick this one uh, yourself with this one. Yeah. Employment equity. I know. Em just I know. I know. <laughs> Shy mom. Ach, doch. Somerset West is in the Western Cape, and ref is short for referee. Referee. Pizza Musimane is a coach in the sport of football. Marty McFly is from the movie series Back to the Future. Religion is R E. L-I-G-I-O-N. Those were the answers we were looking for. Angel, a good effort. You got eight points. Ah, oh, okay. but you did not make or meet the benchmark of 13. Congratulations for a good effort. We're joined now by our final contestant, who was, of course, the reigning bra brain from yesterday. The reigning brain from yesterday. And no, I think Thursday. I'm a little ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm a little ahead of myself. <laughs> Amy, what am I doing to you? I was going to say to you, Bongani, but I don't want to correct Bongani Bingwa I on mean, live radio. I mean, yes. 
all right, okay. I'm, I'm so glad I'm not the one answering this. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Amy is 29 years old, is a chartered accountant from Bryanston, currently taking a break from work before getting married, moving to London later Ooh. this year. So we give you a farewell gift, right? Yeah. 10,000 rand. I hope so. It's not going to go very, very nice. far in London, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But uh, Listen, maybe something. a ticket to London. Maybe. <laughs> it's something, right? Maybe. It's something. Uh, you've played the disc and brain of 702 since 2017. And you were once with us at Mendlin, I think it was, right? I was, yes. All right. You love general knowledge quizzes for the adrenaline rush and the challenge to outperform other quick, inquisitive minds under pressure. You're also an avid runner. So tell me, tell me, are you competitive? Uh, desperately so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've got a sense of that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Amy, good luck. I'm telling you what I tell everyone. Just stay calm and get it moving. Don't get stuck on answers sure. that you are trying to remember. Over to you. Amy, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Hmm. Chris, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word schedule. S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E Correct. Complete the saying, if you lose, you throw in the watch towel. Correct. From which movie series is the character Captain Jack Sparrow? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Correct. True or false, a tycoon is a powerful business person. True. Correct. In which sport is Steve Gombella a coach? Soccer. Correct. Gym is short form of which word? Uh, gymnasium. Correct. In which province is the town Sasselberg? Free state. Correct. The abbreviation GDP stands for gross domestic product. What? Correct. Is Dakar or Khartoum the capital of Senegal? Dakar. Correct. True or false? In religion, the word absolve means blame. False. Correct. Which southern African country's flag displays a red rising sun? Uh, Malawi. Correct. Which of the five senses do you associate with a muscle full of papillae? Nose. Incorrect. Which city is further north, Los Angeles or San Francisco? San Francisco. Correct. Which U.S. state once belonged to France, Hawaii or Louisiana? Louisiana. Correct. Which is one of the noble gases, krypton or nitrogen? Nitrogen. Incorrect. To which political party does Floyd Shivambu belong? Uh, EFF. Correct. True or false, intravenous injections are made into arteries? True. Incorrect. What sport does Faf Duplessis play? Cricket. Correct. From which modern language is the term entrepreneur? French. Correct. Which country is on the Balkan Peninsula, Italy or Greece? Greece. Correct. In which country's Formula One racetrack called Monza? Italy. Oh, are we giving the last one or are we not? We are unfortunately not, but what a solid start. Whew. Yes, indeed. What yes, a indeed. solid start. For a moment there, I thought you might give us a perfect score. Damn it. I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Amy. I'm not going to tell you your score right now because Bongani has to tell us the correct answers of the ones you got wrong. Well, I don't have a lot to say. Right? <laughs> I don't have a lot to say. Uh, it was Krypton. That was the answer we were looking for. The noble gases, not nitrogen. Um, we were not looking for... Well, intravenous injections are made into veins. Veins, okay. not arteries. That's the answer there. And taste. Taste. That's the sense. We associate with the muscle full of... What, how do you say it, Rubahela? I said papillae. All right, I'll go with it. Was it papillae? Anyway, okay. it was the mouth that we were looking for. So that's all I have to say. Amy, how do you think you did? I don't think I can be disappointed with that. Uh, science questions are always going to be my downfall. And I'm, I'm just bleak I didn't get the sports one in time because me and my fiancé are huge Formula One fans. <laughs> so I wish you'd just asked that one a little earlier. That's my only complaint. You got the soccer one, right? Yeah, yeah and as goodness. one as one of the judges uh, said at one of the commissions, they said, you are a chartered accountant. <laughs> you are a chartered accountant. At least accountant. I didn't get your GDP question wrong. <laughs> and there we go. So your final score is 17. Wow. The new number to beat. Amazing. Thank you. 17, overtaking Tabby Sauvair. So Amy is our reigning brain so far she has the score to beat and finally we get to yesterday's contestants see i've been so eager for morris to play uh, morris is 75 and lives in santon works as a sales rep for a watch distributor he's been listening to 702 for so long he can't remember when he started listening and he's been trying to get into the competition since its inception. Loves general knowledge games. His ability on anything specific is not that great. So I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> not sure what that means. 
Um, hobbies are diverse, from trying to play golf to reading, writing, and the theatre. He's also passionate about goodwill among all free-thinking people, and he likes animals. Morris, you've heard how it goes. Yes. All right. Amy has not left the studio because she is the not. reigning brain. <laughs> And she's going to stare at you during your answers. So try not to look at Amy. No, she won't. No, she won't. She's a good sport. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? Not at all. I, you must be kidding. K-I-D-D-I-N-G. How can I beat that? It might be giving you a sense of the questions. You've listened to at least five. Oh, yes. At least four other contestants have a go at it. Yes. Uh, you've learned some tricks, some things not to do. <laughs> no? <laughs> He's not going to share that no. with us. Will he? All right, here we go. Good luck to you. Take a deep breath. Keep it moving. Remember to keep it moving. Don't get stuck on one thing that you may not readily recall. Morris. Mama. <laughs> Morris, really are you ready? ready? I'm ready, really, Pokhili. Chris, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word security. S-E-C-U-R-I-T-Y Correct. Complete the saying, never look a gift what in the mouth. Horse. Correct. From which movie series is the character Michael Corleone? Um, the Godfather. Correct. True or false, a labyrinth is a laboratory, laboratory for COVID-19 research. False. Correct. In which sport is Alistair Kutsia a coach? Rugby. Correct. Doc is a short word for which profession? Doctor. Correct. In which province is the town Secunda? Secunda. Is Limpopo. Incorrect. The abbreviation ROI stands for what on investment? Return of interest. Co correct. Is Dodoma or Rabat the capital of Tanzania? Uh, the first one. Dodoma. Correct. True or false? In medicine, the word vertigo refers to a feeling of dizziness. Yes. Correct. Which Southern African country's flag displays a black stripe with white edges? South Africa. Incorrect. Which of the five senses do you associate with the dermis and epidermis? Skin. Uh, I'll hear what the judges say. Which city is further east, Shanghai or Hong Kong? Sh Shanghai. Correct. Which U.S. state once belonged to Spain, Pennsylvania or California? It must be Pennsylvania. Incorrect. Which is one of the noble gases, xenon or hydrogen? Xenon. Correct. To which political party does Musio Lukota belong? A scope. Mm, judges, oh, oh. judges, it's cope. you need to advise. Did you say it's cope or did you say scope? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. All right, I'm going to leave the judges the to make the call. <laughs> I, I just, scope. <laughs> did I say scope? scope? I think you said scope. The yeah, judges are saying, uh, unfortunately, scope. it is a no. And there's, there's someone out there listening saying, yes, let's start a party called scope. <laughs> <laughs> don't remind me. Bongane, <laughs> <laughs> which answers are... Uh, were incorrect that All you can right, give so us the correct answers Musua to. Nikota does not belong to an old 80s magazine, but rather to <laughs> Cope, the Congress of the People. <laughs> um, it's not Pennsylvania, but California that once belonged to Spain. Um, the city that's further east, Hong Kong or Shanghai, it is Shanghai. I think you got that right. Yes. Um, the dermis and epidermis is associated with the, the sense of touch or feeling or skin. So that is there. Yes. Uh, that is a correct answer. So uh, we don't need to worry about that one. Uh, the country in Southern Africa that has a flag that displays a stripe uh, with white edges is Botswana. Botswana, a black stripe with white edges. Secunda is not in Limpompo, but rather in Mapumalanga. Love it. Mpumalanga. You won't believe it. I was in Mpumalanga this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Morris. <laughs> Morris, how do you think you did? No, I didn't beat her. She's done well. You are correct. You didn't beat her. You <laughs> only got 12 <laughs> points. <laughs> uh, can I say thank you to the whole team, the backroom boys, the backroom ladies. Really, they're the people that keeps us going and making it so enjoyable. Thank I you. Think, I think the team really, really appreciates hearing that. Everybody behind the scenes, boys and girls, very well done. And of course, at 75, Morris is allowed to say that. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Well done, Morris. But I'm going to have to ask you to make room for our winner because, of course, 90 seconds, 25 questions. What did she score? 17 correct answers. That is, of course, 
Amy. Congratulations, Amy. You are our reigning brain. You have won 10,000 Rand thanks to 702 and Discam, a winning mind in a healthy body. So you'll play with us on the final Saturday of February. That's next week. So we'll see you again. And if you're still standing, you will win a whopping 20,000 Rand. I think it's starting to add up for oh your trip goodness. to London, right? Congratulations. So. Oh How are you God. feeling? I actually don't know if I, because I've played a few times before, I don't think I ever thought I was actually going to beat some of these amazing people that have done this. Like, it, yeah. And now, look at you. What it's are you going to do with 10,000 Rand? <sighs> well, pay the rent because I'm not working at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is going to go a very long way. Thank you so much. I, yeah, I'm actually quite amazed. I think you always think that, you know, one or two questions could trip you up. And I think it was just the stars aligned, the, the questions that I got today. I, but also, you are a chartered accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Rebekhile. You're a great question master. Question mistress, question queen. Question mama. Question mama. <laughs>